What's going on everyone? We are here with another rebuild and we got the Chicago Bulls. I totally forgot. They were like the team I was probably most excited um to rebuild because they probably had the most exciting trade um at the trade deadline and that was like almost a week ago now, but yeah, they had the Vucevic trade. Absolutely actually pretty stoked to uh rebuild this team. We're going to have two years to rebuild this team because the first year we're just going to simulate because this is at the start of this season so i don't want to start rebuilding then i want to start rebuilding in this off season because obviously you know there's nothing to rebuild this year because we're past the trade deadline you know all they could do is get free agents so yeah that's it uh we're gonna see them through this season and then we'll be back at the off season all right, so we're here at the draft lottery. We did not make the playoffs. We have the 11th best odds. Hopefully that moves up a little bit um, because this is going to be a very uh, nice draft. Um, I mean, it is pretty deep, though, so if we are pretty low, we do stay low. Um, that's fine. Um, I'm okay with it. Um, Thunder have the second and the third pick. They're going to be disgusting. Pacers got number one. Ugh, we are, we are hopefully in a decent spot. Obviously, trainer, we always got to offer a bag for. If you don't have a good trainer, you know, it kind of sucks if you're rebuilding because you need that. Um, coaching is actually fine. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get to the NBA draft now. Um, I don't think I'm going to make a trade. I think I am just going to use my draft pick because, it, again, it is rebuilding. Um, let's see who's available. Jalen Johnson still available. Small forward. I think that's definitely a good choice. Terrence Clark is Terrence Clark is literally higher in every single category. Besides 2K, but 2K position position rank? Is that based off of their position? They're both small forwards. Oh, that's Mac McClung, not uh Jalen Johnson. Uh so I think I just go with Terrence Clark here. I don't know how they develop is the thing, but they're both 19, so I'm okay. Six, seven, definitely good with me. I think there might be a chance we're gonna get a solid guy in the second round too, who can literally just throw into the G League. Best available is Chris Brown. Lamau, Lamau, bro. Oh my god, I didn't even realize it. Uh, do we draft him? No. Oh my god, he put AJ Lepre in here too. That's so funny. Um, I don't actually want them. I, I guess I'll just take this guy or McCore Maker, or is it? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I've heard his name a bunch of times. Throw him to the G League. He's only a B minus. Yeah, let's do it. He's the youngest. Seven foot. Definitely. Please be at least solid. All right. So let's see where we ended up here. Terrence Clark, 76 overall. Jalen Johnson was also 76 overall, so that's that's whatever. Um, what team are we? We're the Bulls. We're the Bulls. Please say he is at least decent. 71 overall wasn't the best available, but definitely not the worst. Was uh, AJ Lepre was taken? Oh, he's a 60. oh Chris Staples is in here too. Okay, okay. What the fuck? TTG Troyden, smooth. Okay, okay. So that was just like a kind of like a meme draft. Um, outside of like the top players, um, which I'm okay with, you know. Do we bring back any of these guys? This guy's 29, no, but this guy's 22. Ryan Archidiakno, uh, no, we don't have to accept him. Uh, I don't know how much room we have because we do have Vucevic and Zach Levine. Um, qualifying offer, Dante Green's 28, yeah, I don't need him. Moratorium, and we do not have cap space for anybody. Let's look at affordable though. These are affordable players. Uh, oh, we're gonna have to re-sign Lori Markinen, actually. No, do not announce rights. I hate when this happens. Hate when this happens. Yes, we will match. Cap hold you. Cap hold. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna cap hold these guys. I don't think we're gonna get anybody. Unless there is, like, kind of like a solid player left, but... Five mil. Definitely toss him a little bag. 
Lonzo Ball's available for 28 mil. Fuck no. Uh, do we have a young player that we can throw into the G League? Yes, we do. He declined. You fucking bitch, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Um... If we reject you, you, and you. Why doesn't that give us cat? Okay, whatever. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep Daniel Tice. The other guys I'm fine moving on from. So this is what the team looks like. Uh, Kobe White actually improved a lot, which is awesome. Larry Markkinen is still like an 82. He, he might be traded if I'm being completely honest at this point. His defense is not good. Um... And he didn't, you know, really do much. Um, Patrick Williams looks really solid. I totally forgot that we have him. But uh, Terrence Clark, I think, will be in the G League. Same with uh, McCore Maker. Not Since we didn't get that other guy, um, I'm fine throwing both of them into the G League. You know, Terrence Clark probably will um, become, like, a really solid player. And McCore Maker will hopefully be a decent um, role player. Uh, but we are only doing two years because that's when Vucevic is gone. So, let's throw them both into potential camp. Okay, Terrence Clark was actually amazing already. Lamont. Um, and the other guy. A minus now. Okay. Okay. And do we have any other younger players? We can throw a Laurie Markin in again. I'd probably rather throw Patrick Williams in there. <gasps> do we throw Patrick Williams into the G League? I feel like we can't. Or can we? Uh, we're definitely throwing Terrence Clark. Uh, where are you? Assigned to G League. Now, do we throw McCore? Was it 71 overall who will probably get to like a 75, 76 overall? Or do we throw Patrick Williams who could get up to like an 85? But it is going to be a second year. So, him, his overall change is not going to be as drastic. But his potential is probably higher. Uh, but McCore is an A minus. I'm, I'm just gonna throw him into the G League. We do have to sign a free agent really fast though. Um, we just need somebody on like the minimum. Yeah, let's. Why not? Um, go back to roster. Deal with this. Assign to G League. Okay. So what moves could we make besides what has happened so far? All right. Again, solid center, solid shooting guard. All right, point guard, small forward are both really young, so I'm down keeping them. Thad Young is pretty old. Did I did I miss where we're paying him? We're paying him 14 mil, but he is on an expiring deal. I think I will trade him at the deadline. I think I'm, I don't think I should have resigned Laurie Markman if I'm being serious. Thad Young, you're gonna get less minutes. Laurie, depending on how you develop, you know he'll probably be traded next year. Um, but we, we do, at the end of the day, we do want him getting a lot of minutes because he is young. We're definitely not competing this year. Um, realistically, we're not competing. As far as our bench, it's pretty fucking ass. Um, yeah, small forward running with Gruder's only 6'4", so we can't really throw him there. And I don't want to throw anybody else there, so... But we do have Terrence Clark, so we don't ne necessarily need that. So I think we play till the trade deadline, and then we trade Thad Young, um, and hopefully get a decent asset back for him. All right, so we're 37 and 16, which is actually amazing. I did not think we were going to be that good. I just don't see us as actual title contenders this year. I don't see how we compete with this team. The Hawks. I mean, I could see us competing with the Hawks, but. I don't know, they have DeAndre Hunter coming off the bench, so I feel like they'd still be a lot better than us. I just didn't think we were going to be that good. Maybe we are solid. I don't know. I don't want to go all in this year, so I am down to trade Thad Young still, uh, just to see what I can get. I think I'm going to trade for Daniel Gafford and D. Rose. Um, I mean, we're bringing D. Rose home, so I think everybody loves that. Um, I can just be a nice point guard off the bench during this playoff run, I guess. Uh, Daniel Gafford, again, 23 years old. We'll have him for literally less than two mil as our backup center next year. Absolutely love that. So, add exception, and we should be good to go. We might have to make a trade because, yeah, Mike Muscala and Daniel Gafford. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm fine getting rid of uh, Mike Muscala. This is an absolute banger of a trade. OG? 
for Mike Muscala and a first round pick. The Raptors, I don't know if they're competing or what, but bro. All right, we're back. Um, so yeah, we made the trade for OG. We're moving Patrick Williams to power forward because OG is a small forward, goes up to an 86. Finesse, we finesse the Raptors, baby, let's go. Um, so now this is what the starting lineup is looking like. I don't know what this team's gonna look like with when we have Terrence Clark back because he's also gonna be a small forward. My guess is he won't be higher than OG. So maybe we trade him for like a, we try and get like a superstar point guard or power forward. Um, but that is something to think about uh, during the off season. All right, so we finished 55 and 27. We didn't finish great there at the end. Yo, what the, Cade played like shit. Oh my God. He played like absolute buns. What's his overall? He's an 82. I don't know why he was so bad. Um, we don't finish as the best record, but do we have anybody on the LNB teams? No, we don't. The Bucks got Drew Holiday and yeah, okay. Um, so we are the third seed. Let's see where we look like. Okay, so same position still, one game out from the Hawks. So super close to a top two seed. I didn't think we were gonna be competing like that now. Uh, but player stats, Zach Levine carried us on offense, 28. 4 and 5, Vucevic 18 and 12, and then Kobe White 17, 4 and a half, Patrick Williams, D. Rose, we didn't have him for the whole season though, so I don't actually know what his numbers look like. OG's numbers are actually kind of ass in 2K, surprisingly. It's really weird. Um, but last year wasn't bad, so we'll see, we'll see what happens, how he plays next year, but he might be a guy that we get rid of. Maybe we get rid of him. But let's eliminate the first round here. We are against the Nets. What? Kyrie, James Harden, KD, Spencer Dinwiddie. And we, and we just swept them. Zach Levine's just going to drop 51. He's averaging 40 points. 60 and 50 shooting. Okay, Zach Levine's literally broken in this game. Oh, man. How do we sweep the Nets and not... Like, we only take one game... That was close, that wasn't, that wasn't. That, we blew them out, and that one was really close. Damn, bro, come on. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that we didn't uh, win a championship, because then this season it would just be like, if I didn't win a championship, I'd look like trash. All right, I'm debating between two trades right now. We got a trade for Rudy Gobert, which would be nice, because we move Vucevic to the power forward, and then we just have, like, four ridiculous players, you know, shooting guard, small forward, Power forward and centers all locked up. Or we can do this trade. All right, John Wall would be a solid backup. He's only getting paid 13. He's not on that $40 million deal anymore. And we get Christian Wood, who we can move to power forward. And for 14 mil, like that covers two positions. And like, it gives us a little more room to work with financially because Rudy Gobert 38 mil is just a little ridiculous. Yeah, I think I just, I said it out loud, 38 mil, right? I think it was 38 mil, right? 28 or 38? Yeah, 38 mil, no shot. I'm not paying Rudy Gobert 38 mil. Um, where, yeah, yeah. So I think I do this trade. We get two solid players. Terrence Clark is an 85 or an 86, I forget. Uh, so he can definitely replace him. And OG was just not putting up good, great numbers either. So I'm fine getting Christian Wood and John Wall. And then that was our, we also trade our pick. All right, we're here at player progression and we're looking nice. Vucevic, Levine, both 88s. Terrence Clark, 86. Christian Wood, 85. But he's going to be our power forward, which is going to kick him up to like an 88. Kobe White's an 84. Patrick Williams, an 83. Laurie Markman's an 83. We got to get rid of him. So we have, yeah. Christian Wood's going to be our starting point power forward. So Laurie Marketing can get the fuck out of here. Um, John Wall actually regressed, so I might look to trade him. Picked up Tristan Thompson in free agency. Um, McCor Maker, probably going to look to trade him, honestly. We have a lot of power forward, so we don't really need him. We brought back D. Rose, and we brought in Duncan Robinson also. All right, we're going to look to bring in De'Aaron Fox. He's going to be really hard to trade for because he is... Um, a 90 overall, uh, but we've got Laurie Markin in, and we can also throw in like John Wall. Um, they're rebuilding, so let's throw in this dude too. Okay, he has like no trade value. I thought he would have had 
trade value. This guy? Oh my god. And yeah, we can't even do that. Um, here, Eric Bloods. He's two stars, so that doesn't move the needle at all. Uh, what if we throw in some first round picks? Oh, that's a protection back. Oh, fuck. Okay, so we can't. We can't get De'Aaron Fox. So, what I think we do is just run with the team we have. So, let me get everybody back into their positions. Kobe White, point guard, power forward, power forward, power forward, center. Daniel Gafford, center. Uh, point guard, point guard, shooting guard's fine. Power forward, small forward. Okay. I think we run with whatever lineup we have right now. Um, this is definitely a really good lineup. Like, let's not get that wrong. Uh, definitely a really good lineup. Let's run 10 man. So we get our guards. Um, Patrick, wait, Patrick Williams can actually uh, move to small forward. I'm stupid. Hold up. I'm literally so stupid sometimes. Okay, wait. So then this works out. Um, the team looks really nice. Bench really solid. Stars are really solid. I think we're good to go, actually. Um, and so my plan is now to wait till the trade deadline when teams are selling and they'll be more willing to give up some people, um, some players, because I definitely would like a better point guard. And I'm 100% still down to get rid of Laurie Markkinen. Um, I'm, I'm down to put McCore Baker into the starting lineup or Daniel Gafford. I can move in, you know, do something. Um, and just try and get another superstar player. Because Kobe White's nice and all, but uh, his numbers are a little weak. So Yeah, so I just decided to play it out. We, we finished 68 and 14. Um, I was just like, don't, don't, you know, don't try and fix something that's not broken, right? Like, we went crazy. Come on, we had to have somebody on the All-NBA. Okay, Terrence Clark. Okay, wait, that's the All-Rookie team. Okay, so we only have Terrence Clark on the All-Rookie team. No one else anywhere. Um, first seed, easy. I mean, 16-14. No one was close. Nobody was close. Point differential went absolutely ballistic. Zach Levine still put up 25. Kobe White, 18. Oh, my God, he improved so much. I'm so happy we kept him. Zach Levine's numbers still look great. Vucevic's numbers. What? His numbers went way up, bro. He took less shots for sure, but his percentages look really good. Patrick Williams' numbers look good. Christian Wood's numbers. His three-point percentage kind of is trash. I don't know why. But Laurie Markkinen's numbers look solid. 49 and 43. That's pretty good. Terrence Clark. Oh, my God, bro. 55 and 46, bro. Get the fuck out of here. John Wall. His numbers look solid. Trim Brown Jr.'s numbers look solid. Tristan Thompson's numbers look solid. Literally, there's no weak link. There's no weak link, bro. Oh my gosh. Uh, so let's see what happens here. Uh, the matchup wise, they got LaMelo, but no one else, bro. We should run through Charlotte right now. I'm telling you, run through them. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought, 2K. Don't even try and play me, okay? Nobody's competing with us. 31, 24 in the closeout. We got Philadelphia here. Who does that? Ben Simmons, Tobias, and Joel Embiid still. But, like, if you really look at it, we dominate their guards. Absolutely dominate their guards. So, again, not too scared about them. We did go 7 with them. That was a little scary. Um, but closeout, we came through 20-point victory. We were actually losing in the 4th when we started the 4th, and then we just blew them out. Joel Embiid had a good game. Now we got this Hawks team, who for some reason is literally always amazing. But again, we literally beat them in every position besides point guard. So, not exactly too scared. Um, but you never know, 2K caps all the time. And no, no, we won in five, let's go. Trey Young, 18-13 on only nine shots is actually a really good game. Um, I was about to talk mad shit. Uh, but now we got this Nuggets team. It's Yogi's Jamal Murray. They beat us at two of the positions, but then they're, you know, their wings, you know, power forward, just kind of fucking trash. So we should run through them too. Um, Same like around here. And we do. We run through the entire playoffs. Zach Levine, finals MVP, 25 and 4. So we actually didn't even have to do that much. If we look at the, you know, roster, you know, we did trade for OG and used him to get Christian Wood and John Wall. But we kept.